<laughs> That's about as American as it gets, bro. It's American. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Let me get my headphones. Turn my headphones up. Turn up my headphones. <laughs> I can't hear shit. Turn my headphones up. Dylan, Dylan, spit hot fire. Yeah. Welcome. Top oh, five. wait, why am I not on? Whoa. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, I'm on. on, I'm on, I'm on. I just, these yeah. headphones over here, I'm jacked this up. This microphone on. suck all the time. Does it? I got a limp dick microphone. Uh, that little bolt right there. Is it See broke? It? Tighten it up oh, with your fingers. Finger tighten to... it, bull. Right, this? Just, yeah, just tighten it up a little bit. See if it hangs up in there. I kind of like it hanging loose, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> like I usually sit there. Yeah. Ah, that's you good, You can though. have my chair anytime, uh, son. Uh, no, it's hey, everybody. Fun. Welcome to the Hunt for Greatness podcast. Boom. We own a new Canon camera in this bitch. I can't bitch. see myself, though. Can you not? Because I can see. <laughs> is it good? You want to switch seats? No. I mean, this is. I feel you comfortable over great, here. You look great, dude. Well, thank As you. always. Thank you. So you can hear me fine in your headphones. Yes. Because my headphones are a little low, but I'm I cool. I got you loud and clear. All right, cool. Um, yeah. So it's have been you ever a while. seen? Hold on. Have you ever seen a man look better in a bow tie? N- there's no really? possible way on <laughs> on any universe <laughs> never, that that could never. be possible. All right, I just, look at this man's golden bow tie, to, y'all. I call it canary look at yellow. that. Is it canary? I, I, that's what I call it, canary. Yellow. I like that a lot better than golden. <laughs> I mean, really, I'd call it golden eagle. Yeah, you like this bow that's tie? That's what um uh John Dupont called himself. Did you ever see? Who's that, bro? Did you ever see the movie? So they it was called Foxcatcher, and they made a oh my god they made a documentary of it. It's on Netflix, all about Foxcatcher Farms. So Dupont, here's a little history lesson: the Duponts were some of the oldest, most prominent families in the, in America. Like, like going Dupont, like paint. Yes, like that makes the paint. Yes, like Jeff Gordon. Yeah, okay. so the DuPont family. So this guy, John DuPont, heir to the DuPont paint legacy, was like... A How is my memory card full? Tell me that. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, that thing literally filmed for five uh, minutes. Yeah. Are we blinking over there? Yeah, we blinking over there. I, mean, I wonder if we both uh, in that right. shot. Let me, let me just double check. check. I'm listening yeah. to you, though. All right, so this guy was like a weird, like completely not socially adjusted guy. He was really old and uh, he had no friends. He grew up around no one but his mother who babied him. Uh, and like he got into, he got really big into like a, Olympic wrestling and he, he start. Oh, excuse me. He started this whole, like he, he built a farm and it was in like Pennsylvania called Foxcatcher Farms, and he built this huge wrestling facility. DuPont guy. Yeah. And he lured, like, a bunch of, you know, like, Olympic wrestlers to the team, and he was going to... Lured them? What do you mean, lured well, them? Well, like, like, with sexually? the... No, with the promise of, like, you know, funding and sponsorship and stuff, and and he was into wrestling. He was terrible. He was not athletic. He was a frail old man, and they would, like... He would literally, like, fund, like over 60 wrestling tournaments and then they would pay people off for him to win like wrestling like uh, yeah. college wrestling yeah or like, like greco roman not <laughs> wwf wrestling so like real wrestling real wrestling yeah like khabib wrestling like khabib khabib wrestling yeah so um anyway like he like insisted on all the the young guys instead of calling him john he was like call me golden eagle 
That's the sickest nickname ever. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I'm about yeah. to start calling you. So anyway, he freaked out and he shot one of the guys. And what? Uh, what, what, what? Yeah. Well, look. So you got to watch it for yourself. What's like, the movie called? So the movie's with Steve Carell plays the guy John Dupont. It's he's called, amazing. It's Let's called Foxcatcher. How versatile is that guy? This was like his first dramatic role. Really? Yeah. But look on Netflix. You got to watch. Um. I don't know what it's it's it has Foxcatcher in the title, and it's the documentary like it's with the oh. real footage and shit. And it's the Dupont guy. It's John Dupont. John Dupont. John. John Dupont. Golden Eagle Dupont. God damn! What a cool nickname. Let me dude. here. I'm on. I'm on. Golden uh, Eagle. I'd like to yeah. be called that or like Black Duck. Okay, it's called on Netflix. It's called Team Foxcatcher, and it is. What's Foxcatcher have to do with the whole thing? Well, so the. His family's estate was called Foxcatcher Farms, I think. Ah. Uh, yeah, so that's the... Team Foxcatcher. It's that's so, the documentary. It's so good. Oh, I'm thinking about filming a documentary. Can I tell you? Uh, Can I pitch please. you? Let me pitch you my idea, oh, sir. Oh, please. I feel like I'm in an interview with a very important person right now who has cuffed up pants and Vice beautiful socks and versa. shoes on. I mean, can you get a load of those? Get a load of this man's get up, son. This dude's dripping on the Hunt for Greatness podcast. This shit is not drip, an accident. Drip, drop, motherfucker. It's not an accident. It's not, dude. It's fully coordinated. Yeah, absolutely, it is. Outfits coordinated. What ludicrous say? He's like, watch out for my outfits, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the club, looking so conspicuous. Ow, Bradley. Bradley's all on the prowl. But yeah, dude. So let me pitch you my idea. Please do. All right. So since Please I got do. that camera, I want to film a documentary, like a short doc, yeah. probably like fifteen minutes. I got a camera at the house too. I got a Nikon. Oh, well, why hadn't you brought it over here? Why would I? You don't use it. I don't. I haven't lately. Bring it over here so we can set one up on your yeah. face, one up on my face, oh my and I'll God. switch the things when we talk. When I go to edit, it'll be like JRE. You. I just don't have two cameras. Got it. I need new batteries for it. That's it. I, I mean, obviously, I need a new memory card for mine. So <laughs> obviously. I'm about to get the biggest yeah. one they got tomorrow. Yeah. Biggest fucking one. You have got. to. Dude, that thing filmed five for minutes. five fucking minutes. Five minutes. Dude, it's eight gigs. Nothing. How? Nothing. How'd that happen? I Dude, what memory card? Hold on. What memory card sitting over here? Bro, you had a memory card sitting on the on the kitchen island. I know. I got memory cards in the GoPro. I got memory, memory cards, cards out the, the ass. I got memory cards. All right, let me pitch you my idea, okay? Come I'm on. all jacked up on this. Let me take a I'm sip. there, bro. Huh. I'm, I'm all the way there. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, I wanted to, and this is like really in its baby stages. I haven't thought it in out. Its infancy. To, yeah, it's in its infancy, dude. All right. So, I want to go... To like four different barber shops, and I want to okay. film like I want to get some shots of the outside, film them cutting some guys' hair, and then I want to talk to them about like the history. I want to do some research on the history of barbering, like cutting hair, yep. basically, because it dates way back to like caveman shit. You yep. know what I'm saying? But I want to do some of that and ask them questions about like anybody ever got super pissed at you for fucking their hair up and oh like, yeah but you know like a real documentary like get them to answer in a complete sentence so you don't have to hear my stupid fucking voice in the background you know what i'm saying yeah of course so but anyway i want to do like a bar like a wilmington barber i want to go to two black barbers two white barbers and i want to go to midtown where they have a black guy and a white guy and i just want to talk about like you gotta get a woman yeah you're right i should get a woman even a though woman. they can't cut hair that great well i mean that would be uh, a nice little plot twist but to does a the... woman cut your hair uh because your hair yeah. is cut great okay well go let's fucking, get her on the documentary i go to fucking then. sport clips and they <laughs> tighten me the fuck up they every time do, dude every time i think dude you can't yeah. fuck a head up that's that beautiful i mean really i just think it's impossible really i mean when you look like that out of the vag i mean no nah, what know can what? you do to fuck nah, that up look out of, yeah you know what out out of Robin Barker, it was like a sight to be seen. But then I turned like six or seven and shit started going downhill. And then let's just like fast forward 25 years and you have this beautiful visage. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. I broke a sweat in the middle yeah. of that story right there, yeah. dude. No, so but I just want to do something like I want to go yeah. to some barber shops and talk about like the culture of yeah. barbering. like. So I was really big into photography um, a little less than 10 years. Jesus Christ. Like, Dude, less, you're young, bro. Yeah. 
I was really big into photography for a while. And I had this idea um, that I wanted to see. Ball in Baltimore, they have a lot of cool. Uh, I, I I hesitate to call it graffiti, but they have a lot of street art and like um, murals and like whole sides of buildings as like memorials for people that died. And what I wanted to oh, do that's was so cool. I've always wanted to paint a mural. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a photo essay chronicling not graffiti, like not like tagging, but like street art of Baltimore, right? That's and then fucking I dope. And then I thought I got a little bigger with the idea and what I wanted to do was I wanted to and obviously this is a lofty lofty goal, but I wanted to go cross country and go to as many like major metropolitan cities as I could and chronicle their street art. And then you can literally chronicle like cultural differences oh, by like the kind that. of art they I have. Like that because like the shit they have on the side of a building in Santa Fe, New Mexico is going to be wildly different than what they have in Detroit oh, absolutely. or Baltimore or California. Absolutely. So I thought that would be cool to see, like, you know, not just the differences. A lot of people, you know, they always, um, you know, well-talked about cultural differences or food, music, stuff like that. But, like, graffiti. Sports, dancing. Yeah, but, like, graffiti is something. And, like, graffiti is a little bit too much of an umbrella term for me because I don't I wouldn't ever want to get street lumped art. in I like street I, art yeah I wouldn't want to get lumped in with like tagging and like Banksy type shit because I love Banksy I know Banksy's cool but it's not you know what I mean like I'm talking about like like not legal a, I'm I'm talking murals. well I'm no I mean none of it's legal oh is it not no I, I bet you they pay some people to do some cool ass murals up there maybe it's legal probably. yeah like on the side of a business, they're like, "Hey, dude, I saw your work. Yeah, come paint the side of our building." But I'm talking Everybody. about like the shit they have on the side of project buildings. Oh, okay. That's what I want to yeah. photograph. You know, it'd be cool to do a documentary about those guys. Yeah, and, like, so blur like their faces. Literally, out or we were just talking. You were telling me about your idea with the barber shop, and I'm like, "Why couldn't we just do a documentary instead of a photo book?" Dude, that would be sick. I don't. I can't go across country. I got. Well, I, I got. Can't I got either. youngins. Yeah, right. But uh, you know, Asheville has a lot of that shit, and it's only five hours away. They got really cool murals. Dude. Yeah, I, can't I know it's stand not like hippies. Baltimore. Seriously, bro. Really. Have you been to Asheville? No. You need to go. You would love it. I feel like I'm not I, a big hippie fan. Either. I feel like I would. Mm. I just can't. I can't do it. Dude, your dick would fall off probably from all the bitches trying to throw their pussy at you. You think? Absolutely. I feel like my dick's too clean for that. Dude, it would fall off because I, all I the mean, fucking you'd be doing, dude. That's you'd be a, doing a lot of hump. a risk I'm going to have to take. You, I guess. <laughs> you just wear a rubber, dude. That's what they're for. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh, I feel the same way. I got two kids, bro. Yeah. yeah exactly. I feel the same way. I'm trying to blow my load off in that thing, dude, whenever possible. For real. You know what I mean, dude? Look, you know I like to gamble. I'm just going to roll the dice. You think that'd be a cool idea? Like a cool little 15 minute doc I could edit it myself, do yeah, everything for sure. myself. Bro, you could, do, you could do way more than 15 minutes. Why would I think you settle start for off 15, 15 minutes? 30 minutes? Like a little little short and then just release it on I'd youtube it'll help the barbers or, promote their shop look you could do 45 minutes and release three 15 minute acts a short doc series act one like two and it. three you know what i mean 15 or do minutes. one for each shop mm. or do one for a white barber shop one for the black barber shop and one for the yeah interracial barber yeah yeah but you you can't so there's if you do differences one, in culture of barbering too i agree because you, it's rare you can go to a white guy and get a sweet fucking fade. Yeah, it's I don't, rare. Yeah, you know, and like shout out to our friends that are white barbers, but like, mm. yo, Bryce, sickest fade in town. I don't know, who hands that is. down, Midtown, the guy that owns yeah. Midtown, uh, white guy. How much? Best fade you can get, probably twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, probably. All right. All you're right, gonna wait. That. You're gonna wait three hours. No. That, see, that's the thing I want to talk about. In, look, I'm going to walk in sports clips. How good do you have to be for motherfuckers to come that's in your true. shop and sit there for three hours on their cell phone to wait for a haircut that's going to go away in a week? How that's true. good do you have to be? That's what interests me, yeah. shit like that. Or how overhyped. It's not. I used okay. to let them cut my hair, dude. and I, I, okay. But I got tired of sitting there. Yeah. I don't have time for that <laughs> yeah, shit. I got agreed. shit to do, so I for cut real. my own hair now, bro. I only got two days it's off. free, and I do a 
decent job. I got a buzz yeah. cut, bro. Yeah. I faded up I myself. Know. I mean, it's faded. It's faded. I, I, what? It's barely faded, but it's faded. Dude, the back. Look at the back of my head, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. See how it's really short in the back? Definitely can't tell. Shorter in the back. Can't even tell. <laughs> Come on, Bradley. <laughs> Where to go? Come on, dude. Can't even tell. All right. So don't fuck with cats. I got to tell you about Yeah, it. I, so I, I've been hearing about this. Tell me what you heard, and I'm going to tell you if it's true. I heard it's like a weird documentary about That's like so animal abusers. Is that right? Okay. I'm going to just hit you with the first like 10 minutes. And I it's, heard it's, it's fucked the premise, up. dude. It's the premise. So this like, this is back when the internet like first started, when people were, could do fucked up shit and make snuff videos and shit. Like bum fights. Yeah, and they couldn't really track people down like they could yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't understand how they couldn't track this guy down, but it was like the beginning of the internet, dude. Yeah. And uh, this thing is like really fucking with me, but yeah. it's all right. I'll get over it. Yeah. Um. So the guy makes a video putting kittens in a vacuum sealed bag and sucking the air out of it. Oh. So it pissed off so many people, they started a Facebook group to find this guy. Yeah, yeah, and he's doing all this shit that make like that serial killers do, like that, yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah. harming animals and shit. Yeah, ends up killing somebody. No, yeah, and he films it, yeah, and puts it on the internet, and it's real. Fuck, and he's yeah. a goddamn Canadian. That's all I'm telling you. That's all I'm telling you. Canadians Fuck. are polite, that's but the, they'll fucking bro, kill you. This the Canadian serial killer. That's the diamond in the rough, bro. Dude. This guy? That's the needle in the haystack. How are Canadians so nice, eh? Right? How are right. they so nice, but they're the fucking meanest, sickest hockey players ever? Wildest. They they have self-control. It's in their DNA, I think. Because, you know, there's sometimes when they're nice, but inside they're a seething ball they of wanna, rage. <laughs> they want to rip your For fucking real. face off. Especially when they're dealing with us American asshole tourists. So you have... <laughs> So you have, yeah, we're assholes oh to God. them, especially. Got so, to be. So you have, obviously, uh, Prime. I do. Well, right. I have someone else's Prime. Have you, Shout seen, out. have you seen Tough Guy? No. You'll love it, dude. It's What's about, that? It's about the guy on the Red Wings that fought everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Okay. So he had a drug problem. He goes deep Ugh. into addiction. It's nice. awesome, dude. It's like hour and 45 minutes long, and it's yeah. so, you'll love it, dude. It shows hockey fights on there and how mean the guy was really? and how alcoholism uh, and cocaine made him meaner. And Yeah. Yeah, he's a goddamn Canadian. That's exciting. Okay. Okay. I love hockey fights. Yeah, you know, we talked about, we watched the Caps Hurricanes together a what couple weeks ago. What about the last ago. game? What happened? Because I, I saw well, it was 2-0. Uh, the best team won. I saw the See, Washington I the best Capitals. Team won the previous matchup. Uh, the best team got lucky by a couple goals. Like, <laughs> why on earth? Let me let me talk to you, podcast land. Anybody that knows hockey, why would you take your goalie out with like what was there like stupid two and a half to three minutes left? That's so dumb. Like that's the that's ridiculous. All they had to do was score a goal, then pull the goalie. And they were down the by one. Yeah, they were down by one. They were down by one, and they pulled the goalie, and right away they're down by two, and the shit's over. That's crazy, dude. Whatever. You know what? Best team in hockey, bro. I've Caps. never, I've never seen Caps. a team do that. No, in me all neither. my years of watching hockey, no, never seen it. You know. So they won two zero last. So game. they won. Yeah, it was like two nights ago. I something. saw they were, they, dude. If the Canes are down when I check the score, I don't turn it on. <laughs> Well, that's because you're not a real fan, bro. I keep checking, and if they start coming back, boom, I'm turning it on. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not a real fan. I, dude, real fan. No. <laughs> probably been to more, I've probably been to more Hurricanes games than you have Caps I'm, games. Um, probably been to like 10, oh, 12, maybe. Then, yeah, yeah, those are good numbers. Yeah, yeah. Those I'm are doing good numbers. numbers over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah right, right. I'm those doing are, fucking numbers. Those are good. Uh, yeah, how many football games you been to? Never been to one. Boom. Been to and like six or seven. probably not going to go to one now that Luke Keekley retired. Oh, my God. Come Everybody. Oh, on, dude. This huge uproar Goat, about. Goat, bro. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. Let me tell you motherfuckers and you, sir, yeah. about why I think Luke Keekley retired. Did Tell you me. see? Did you see the interview or the uh, announcement? I no. Like you talking about that he did his own little like yeah. video. He I didn't watch it. He repeated himself five times. Uh, Gar oh, you think little? Yeah, That's exactly what I think. I think CTE and concussions. He's a linebacker, and he's, he's been a concussed. He's a yes, absolutely. He's been concussed a few times. I've seen him been concussed like four times since I've been watching. Yeah, that's him. not good. No, and I think that's why he retired, dude. Yeah, like I think that he got scared of the brain damage. Good, the long exactly. Good. I'm glad he retired, dude. Like I love Keekly. 
I love the Panthers, dude, but I'm glad he retired because that shit will, dude. The the effects of the concussions is just insane, dude. Like long lasting, like life lasting problems you have from that shit, dude. That shit's crazy. Yeah. They were paying him probably pretty well. Yeah. Like, he, he probably has... He was the best linebacker in the game for the most part. That's I what mean, they say. I don't know where the numbers are to back that up, but uh, whatever. You can, check, you can check his numbers. They don't I'm line up with bother. the team's numbers. No. But. Damn, y'all is just about to... Um, I don't know now. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know our new coach, Big really. moves in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, They're talking Tom about Tom Brady. Brady. Where's he going? Look, so it changes week to week. Where is he going? Panthers. Ta- Come I just on. heard. Cam I just out. heard a, a rumor. It might be Chicago. Damn. Like regardless, Think he's not. Think about Brady staying. on Chicago. Couldn't tell you why. Think about that. I mean, the only thing they have is Khalil Mack on defense. I don't know. I couldn't name you a receiver they have. Doesn't matter. A tight end. Doesn't matter. Brady goes to him. They're fucking going. But to look, so Brady goes. So you figure Brady's there, signs a two-year deal, right? That means that they have less than a year to, like, get him some weapons and then maybe another year to capitalize on that. You know, the only the only logical place for Brady to go is the place that they mentioned first, and that's to the Chargers. To yeah, Phil Rivers is retiring, I guess. I mean, whether he knows it or not, if they get if they get Brady, he's going. I'm just saying, like the Chargers have weapons. Yeah, they have weapons, and like Philip Rivers was always sturdy enough and like sort of reliable enough, and they could use him in conjunction with the weapons they had to to obviously hope for some success. Right. And, like, I, I'll tell you what, I had Phillip Rivers on my fantasy football team this year, and I benched him quick because... Not good. Not good. Threw as many interceptions as he's got kids. He's got, like, eight kids, right? He's got, like, 15 kids. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I'm kidding. Whoa, whoa, no. What? Yeah, he's got, like, eight kids. He's Jesus got a lot of kids. Christ, dude. Yeah. I guess you... Dude, I probably would have, like, eight or nine of them if I was an NFL I mean, player, dude. I Fuck it. I don't know, bro. You got Why? maids and shit. You know what, though? Cut me up, bro. I got Just three kids. Snap me off. Snap, yeah. Knock me up, bro. Tie them up. Burn them. Whatever you got to do. Tie them in a bow, throw them yeah. over your shoulder. <laughs> right, right. Loop de loop here. Yeah, double knot. For knotted. real. Double knot it. But I don't Twist know. Twist my sack up. Yeah. Um, Man, I don't know. I don't know who you guys are going to get. I don't either, dude. The pan- I don't, in terms of quarterbacks, because Cam's not staying. What's, what do you think he's going to do? I've heard people say Cam would be a good fit in Denver. Yeah. Denver needs a quarterback. This is weird to think about to me. What? Cam Just playing? everything. Just Brady, yeah. Cam, like all these quarterbacks. Yeah. Like, and then Keekly retiring be really fucked off me year. up. Yeah. I guarantee you. All right, you watch that video and you tell me that dude doesn't have CTE. Yeah. It's sad, bro. Yeah. Like, he can form sentences, but I guarantee you if he stayed in the league for three or four more years... Yeah. He's like Muhammad Ali, bro. Yeah. Like he, he's like Sugar Ray Leonard, bro. Yeah, Is Sugar Ray Leonard got CTE pretty bad? Is it Sugar Ray Leonard? Sugar Ray Leonard is pretty coherent. Oh, dude. Tyson Fury and yeah. Wilder, too? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. I think Wilder's going to knock him out. <sighs> I hope not. I hope not, I too. I fucking like Tyson I do Fury, too. bro. I do, too. He's a fucking I like success story. Tyson he came from Fury. the gutter. Yeah. Had he's, the drug problem. Yeah, yeah. You seen Contemplated the Contemplated suicide. Bro, I know you've seen, like, at least pictures of the way he looked. Oh, yeah, dude. He was fat as fuck. Fat and disgusting looking. Oh, yeah. And he turned it around, like, and, um, I don't know. It's just one of, the, it's like a uh, super fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then who, like, let's say, all right, so let's, okay, so let's say Tyson Fury beats him, right? Then you have Wilder Fury 3. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? Got to. No brainer. Either way, you're getting Wilder Fury 3, in my opinion. I yeah. think even if Deontay beats him, you're getting Wilder Fury 3. Well, you got to have a tiebreaker. It Wilder, was a tie. Wilder it was a draw. won the first one, didn't he? No, it was a draw. 
It was a draw. It was a draw. It was a draw. All because of that last shot. Yeah, dude. Fury, Fury won nine the, rounds. Yeah, what the fuck? Nine rounds. I know, I know. And then I saw, and he got up like the goddamn Undertaker. He just he shot did, up. But if you, I mean, I understand. See, the the problem is the referee counted super slow and fucked up. Like it was nowhere close to a ten count, and yeah. he popped up on a nine. So and then won the rest of the round. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How's right. that happen? I don't look. I don't know. I Have can't, you seen yeah. how hard Deontay Wilder punches? I mean, he's a freak. I'd like to see him and Francis Ngannou, bro. Oh. Come on. Wow. Yo. What's yo, that weight class? Yo. Fucking. Uh, you going to bed? Yo. Uh, Yoel Romero and Stylebender. It's official. Is it? It's official. I don't know if you I've heard bed, that. Buddy? What you think's gonna happen, Yoel Romero? Yoel, Rom- I don't know. Yoel Romero is huge. What what weight class is that? One eighty five. One eighty five. Sal Banner's the champ. Yoel Romero is the largest one eighty five I've ever seen uh, in my yeah. life. No neck. All traps. Great muscle. All traps. All traps. Dude. Like a he's like forty. Mountain side. Forty fucking years old. Is he really? Dude, he's like, they don't know how old he is. because They don't, they don't because they, they couldn't find his birth certificate in Cuba. Shut Cuba. up. Dude, they oh, couldn't like, find his birth certificate. Yoel Romero. Yoel Romero in Cuba. Oh, he said he's born in 77. What does that mean? Do the math. I don't fucking know, dude. It means he's 42. 42 years old, bro. Looking like a damn pit bull on steroids, Right? Bro. I mean, I didn't do that math wrong, right? I don't know, dude. I'm not double checking you over here, dude. I'm trusting you. I'm walking by faith, bro. Yeah, he's 42. Dude, God 42 damn. years 42 old. 42 years old. He's about to fight for the belt. Dude. I remember when Randy Couture won the belt at 44. What do you think is going to happen between Yoel and Stylebender, bro? Let's talk UFC. I think... Dude. I think... I don't... I don't know. I, I I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to remember when I've seen Style Bender get hit as hard as Yoel Romero can Kelvin hit Gaslin, someone. The Kelvin Gaslam fight when he fought Kelvin Gaslam, it he was did a get. dude. He look, he got stung by African fucking hornets when this fight was done. Yeah, dude, they were banging. Dude. They were. They were banging. They if were he standing can, in a phone booth. Banging, uh, so dude. if he can take that, I think he'll be all right because I think I think Style Bender might gas. You remember Romero what? Out. You remember what Romero did to Luke Rockhold, bro? Mm-mm. Holy shit! Oh god! Starched and broke his fucking jaw. Broke his jaw. He couldn't be an underwear model anymore for oh a little god, while. I'm this. pretty sure he broke his jaw. Oh, dude, watch that, dude. What, dude? And when he goes down, Yoel just whoa, rocks him again, dude. And it's f- just like a damn. Remember them? Remember them? Mach- them? Yeah. Rock 'em, sock 'em robots, dude. It was like, yeah. Poof, and it's fucking. It was almost as bad as the Alistair Overeem uh, knockout by Francis Ngannou. This is. Check it out. Three times. God, God damn. Dude, rocked <laughs> oh. him. Dude. Sent him into orbit, bro. Starched him. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Is it showing it? Yeah, it's like highlights. Hey, is it Yoel highlights or is it the it's, rock? It's, it's the, the rock it's hole. The fight. Okay, okay. What we got going on here? Sorry, YouTube land. Oh yeah, we're He's watching the Luke Rockhold Yoel up. Romero fight. Oh, he starches him, bro. I mean, absolutely just waylays his head in the next week, dude. Oh, oh, oh he get. Oh, that oh. was the one. That was the one. <laughs> That was the one. Watch that. Watch that. Watch watch this right here. Yeah. Watch this right here. Pop, pop. Watch this. Gagoo. God. Are you serious, dude? Underwear model? No more. You're Damn. you're going to the hospital, buddy. Yeah. Dude, that dude is just powerful, bro. Yoel is just a powerhouse, dude. That's that crazy. fight is interesting. Yoel Stylebender is very fucking interesting. It's not a fight that I would have thought them... To book because you thought Yoel was bigger than Style Bender. News I mean, flash, he Style is, Bender's huge. He, Style Bender, he's huge. He's People, like everybody a, says he's huge, bro. I feel like Style Bender's like a thinner John Jones. I would love to see Style Bender John Jones if they were anywhere close to the same weight class. They're talking shit to each other. How's that thing? Bro, How's that thing? Puckering your butthole it's up, so dude. So good. 
I'm so glad you yeah. like it. Dude, it's an honor to make you a cup of it's, coffee. The sir. honor's mine, bro. Dude, I'm jacked <laughs> up, Me too. dude. Holy Look, shit. Look, I, I can't see, I, 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 can't, I can't imagine that Style Bender couldn't go up and wait. He could definitely go up. He probably walks around at 195, 200. Bro, probably. he's got to walk around do at it, 205 do it at, do all it day. At 200 catch weight. Let's do a style bender, John 200 Jones. 200 catch weight? Yeah, dude. Fuck it. What's five pounds? Make John Jones come down, style bender go up. Then it'd have to be 190 or 195. I think 200's more fair. Because whoever's coming down fair in weight. Fair to who? Whoever's coming down in weight is really the one at a disadvantage. Five pounds. Five pounds is a lot when you're cutting weight to get to 205, though. Yeah. Because you know John Jones probably walks around at 230, 225. Yeah, gotta be, yeah. So I'm saying he's cutting weight to get to 205. I'm just saying, like, cutting the weight is a lot harder than... Yeah, that's true. Especially in the fight, dude. Like, it's always the guy who goes down to the other person's weight who gets beat, like TJ Dillashaw and Henry Cejudo. How that happened. And Connor. Yo, Connor. Let's talk about Connor fight. I was going to say that. Has Connor and Cerrone ever fought? No. Dude, this fight's interesting to me. So look, I got a little I got a little insider who pays very close attention. I'm going to bring him over here Saturday night. Please. Pays very you probably know him. Pays very close attention. Name drop. Danny. Well, Danny O. Uh, why do I not why am I not visualizing this person? Wow. Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. Doesn't matter. Anyways. Anyway, that's my little insider. Regardless of the... What's yeah. he saying? So I made, I put a bet down. I put a little wager on Connor. Like a money line. You know what it's I mean? It's like a minus 160, right? Minus 160 favorite. It's like more than that, I think. Is it minus 260? I think it's yeah, 260. Yeah, but I got a money line. I got a win or lose. So I, I don't, don't know what that means. So that means like, so the whole, uh, it's like a, it'd be like on a sports team, it's like giving someone points. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? But like money line means win or lose. The spread doesn't matter. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So I bet 50, that means I get 50. So you win 100 if he wins. Well, I win 50. I keep my money and, and win. You, yeah. Right. So old buddy thinks Cerrone's going to beat him. Bro, this this dude came up to me and put fifty on it. I got cowboy, and I was like, I thought about it, and I was like, oh, man, I don't know. I just lost money on my Ravens, by the way. Oh, and man. I, well, let's talk about that next. Yeah. Let's talk about. And the I Ravens. thought about it, and uh, I thought about it. And I was like, man, we got bags. We got bags. We got bags. So forty thou this got, week. Yeah, I said I, I I got fifty on Connor. The honor's mine. I'd love to win fifty. Got it. Yeah, I got it. So I think Connor's gonna win. I think it's a good. It's just you know what? Like I've been so uh, back and forth about this fight because I'm like, bro, if 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 Cowboy can make it out of round two, he's got a legit shot because I don't think that. I don't, it's not even a five round fight though, right? Yeah, I it's mean it's a main a belt, event, but, but yeah, but it doesn't belt. matter. It so doesn't as long ma- as it's a main event, it's five. As long rounds. as it's a main event, okay, yeah. I always forget. Yeah, uh, and I'm like, if if Cowboy can make it out of round two, maybe round three, he's got a legit shot at winning because Connor is going just like we Coming talked out about. Slinging, bro. He's going up in weight class. He's not going to be used to having that much weight on him. He's not going to be used to... It's 155, right? No, nah, but they're going up to 170. No. Yeah. Are they? I Yeah. Is it 170? Yeah. Okay. That's well Connors weight. only had a title at 145 and 155. Yeah, but he's gone up twice. So he's going up to 170. Yeah, he, he went up He, he, he went up to 170. He fought Diaz at 170, exactly. right? Exactly. So here's and the he thing. he good. He looked good against yeah. Diaz both now, times. Here's my thing, right? And this will push me over the edge, bro. I've been seeing pictures of him and oh, interviews, and that's what I'm he's saying. He's like, I'm and not drinking. I'm not he, fucking drinking. He thinks he thinks he's the best he ever felt, and like, really, the real shit is that he has admitted that he took the Khabib fight lightly. Like, he's not making any excuses. And I think he's gonna have something to prove. Oh, for sure. Because at the very, you know, win, lose, or draw. He's fighting to stay relevant. For sure. Because if he loses, he's really not that relevant anymore. No, because he's on a losing streak. I beat three in a row. 
right. if he loses this right. one. Right. So this is a fight to keep him relevant. It's a fight for, not that he needs a payday, but, you know. I heard, you know how much he's making? How much? Seven. For this fight? 70 M's, bro. What's the? How about what's Cowboy Stephen making? Stephen A said that, though, when I was watching Stephen A and old buddy. Yeah. Cowboy's probably making like 40. I hope so. I hope so, too. Because you know what? Cowboy's at the end of his run. He's doing it for the money. Yeah. And probably because he likes to punch people in the oh, fucking mouth. Oh, for sure. But Cowboy ain't never going to be a champ. And well, let's not go that far. Who He would have to beat... What uh, are you talking about? He would have to beat... Um, Usman, right? Usman's a 170 champ. Yeah. All right, so here's what I think is going to happen. I think McGregor's going to win this fight because just because of the reasons like you sh- you said, he's 100% focused. Yeah. He's not drinking. He's not doing drugs. As long as he as long as long he can't. He's uh, jacked. As long as his chin holds up, Cowboy's going to be gonna throwing, hold up. Cowboy's going to be throwing kicks. A kicks from a man at 170 got to be different than a man at 145, oh, 155. So I'm saying as long as the chin holds up and as long as his cardio is good. All right. I think he wins. McGregor wins. Yeah. Masvidal. <sighs> McGregor Masvidal for the BMF title. That's a fight. I don't think he wants. That's the one, dude. Plus that's 185. No, it's 170. Are you sure? It's 170. It's Usman's weight class, which is welterweight, which is 170. Uh, it's Nate Nate Diaz just fought Masvidal yeah, 170. Yeah. It's 170. I don't see Connor winning that. You don't think Connor will beat no. Masvidal? Dude, no. Masvidal is pretty much unbeatable. At this I don't point. think I don't Who can beat Masvidal? I can't name a person that can beat Masvidal. Who? I can't either. I don't think so. What a savage. I know. And he's probably like that. And I want to see him fight. I want to see him fight for a title. I don't think he's interested. I think he just wants the God, money fights. So much more gangster. Dude, I think he wants money <laughs> fights, bro. I don't think well, he's those, interested in the there's title. There's no he's money got fights. the PMF title. That's there, all he wants. Yeah, but like, what's more of a money fight than a uh, title fight? Like, those are what gets you really paid. Uh, that's what I would think. I mean, really? I mean, that's what I would think. I mean, really? What about Masvidal Usman? That's now, see, interesting, Now, see, the thing is, he's, he just wants to fight bad motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, but like the baddest. when you clear out a division, bro, who else is there? Yeah, go huh. for the title. I like how the UFC. I like how people are going to different weight classes. Yeah, I like when they go up and they're not really cutting yeah. weight and they're like fighting at their actual. Look, look weight. here's the thing: when you're the champion, they bring you the next bad dude. Yeah, suppose Just, Dana does a good job with that. I mean, I yeah, but I, you know what I mean. Like yeah. next in line, like they they bring you people that have already proven themselves to be in line for a title shot. So I'd say, just go ahead, man. I, and, he deserves and, and, the title and shot. And Masvidal Usman, that's a fight I'd I'd love to see. I wonder what would happen there, dude. That Usman Covington fight was crazy, dude. Yeah, and I think that I, I honestly, uh, Colby Covington put up a real legit fight. Against Usman. Let me let me share a little piece of fucking oh, fact please with you. Do. Okay, Covington. If he would have made it through the last round, the judges had him winning by decision. He had he had the fight you, won. Really? Absolutely, dude. He had won three out of the five rounds already. Hmm. There, even if Usman won the last round, it was they 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 let after the fight we bought it. They showed the judges scorecards. Really? Yeah, they had him winning the fight. If he could have made it the last minute of the fight, he would have been the champ at wow. 170. Dude, it was a hell of a fight. Okay, dude. so that just Super almost, disappointed that, you that didn't show up. almost strengthens the point I was trying to make. I think if it had been Masvidal Covington, I don't think Covington would have made it out of round two. Huh. That's how. That's just how I that'd see it a, going. That'd be a hell of a fight, too. That, honestly, a lot of shit talking for that fight. A lot fight. of shit talking. A lot of striking. Damn, that's the next BMF fight. Dude, you know what Masvidal said about Covington? Tell me. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, dude. When he beat Nate Diaz, they said heard Kobe Covington been talking a lot of shit. Masvidal says, "Who's that?" <laughs> I can Isn't see that, that great? too. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yes. Dude, the Masvidal Askren fight was Who's one of that? the most insane things I've that ever seen. That got knocked out of the year, seen. as it rightfully should have. I mean, five seconds. It yeah. was really three. I'm pretty sure that made it on the Sports Center top 10 of all sports. As it should. As it should. Dude, he's such a bad motherfucker. Dude. Really is. 
That's a dude you would not want to fuck with. Yeah, like when Kimbo Slice gets gets behind you in your corner. I mean, rest in peace. But like R.I.P. Kimbo. That, yeah, right. But like that was the original fucking backyard dude. Yeah, I, I watched plenty of Masvidal like Miami backyard brawls. No, of Kimbo backyard well, brawl. No, I'm saying oh, Masvidal like, has him. Too? That's where he started. Didn't from. Didn't even know that. Really? Did not know that. Oh yeah. Makes sense and now. Kimbo's like. Kimbo was behind him, like mentoring oh, him shit. in like backyard. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's and he's where he's that... rocking the Scarface get up and oh. shit. Dude, he's Miami to the core. Yeah, bro. for real. I love. Damn, the... you gotta watch them, I didn't bro. Know that. They're nasty. So he's doing like bare knuckle. Yeah, backyard brawl taped dude. up. That's it. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. But he's been in the UFC forever, right? Yeah. Well, this these got to be 10, 15 years old. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Oh, uh, that well. guy, I can't remember his name. He fought Alistair over him the last time they fought. The last fight, he's a huge black guy, like massive black dude. I want to see him and Francis and Ghana go at it. Mm. But you remember how disappointing the Derek Lewis Francis and Ghana yeah, fight bro. was? Yeah. So disappointing. Worst fight I just fight I've don't ever care seen. about either one of them. What, Francis and Ghana? Really? Too big. He's so scary. <laughs> he's so scary. Too big. Dude. You think so? S- S- but he's so fit, bro. He's not fat at all. So big. So big. Yeah. He's big. <laughs> he really is. Dude, he really is, dude. Yeah. So you think McGregor's going to win? The card's not that great. I mean, I fucking great. hope he The card's is. not that great. Yeah, you but. You got Holly Holmes on there. You got Pettis on there. Oh, you do have Pettis on there. I think Pettis is actually the underdog to the guy he's fighting, believe yeah, that or not. Yeah, never heard of the guy. Nah, that's what, that's what I was hearing. Like, never nobody heard really of the guy. knew who he was. Hey, but you know what? Pettis needs it. Dude, I like Pettis. Pettis been on a bad. Pettis getting old, man. Yeah, he breaks his hands every match. You know, and shit. yeah, yeah. So what happened with the Ravens, bro? What the fuck happened? I don't know. Tell me, I didn't watch it, dude. All right, a couple things. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Remember where you heard it first, people. First and foremost, and I'm the number one official Baltimore, Baltimore Ravens to the fan core, baby, in North Carolina. Baltimore, bitch. That's right. <laughs> uh, all right. So first of all. They had three weeks off. Was it three? Yeah. Holy shit. So it was three because the last regular season game. Took all their starters out. They sat six starters. And then they had a week off and they had their their bye. So that's like two weeks, you know. Um, so all your starters had three weeks off. Is all your starters had three weeks off. Yeah. That's never good. It's never How, good. When does that ever end up good? It, uh, you know, it can't be. It can't be. And I, I'm not even convinced if they had all played, like, look, if they had all played the last game against Pittsburgh, a fucking Buns team. Bum-ass motherfucker. Terrible. Yeah. Now, obviously, in any football game, there's, like, the chance of somebody being hurt. But, like, they wouldn't have had to play that hard to still win. No. What I'm saying is, even if they did that, I'm still convinced that the two weeks off would have been more hurtful than helpful. Yeah. Okay. There's that. The second point is like what everybody's trying to say. And it was Lamar just wasn't himself. Uh, Shannon Sharp said on, on undisputed with Shannon skip. He said love that, that show. It's my favorite sports. It's fantastic. Show. I love it. I love how they argue. I love Shannon They're like me and you. Yeah. They really are. So he said that that was the first time all season that Lamar looked like he was trying to be the MVP. Huh. You know? So, like, Lamar's done interviews, and and it's all about the game. We're just trying to win the game. Da-da-da-da-da, this and that. And Shannon said he, he felt like he was trying to be... What everybody made him out to be. Right. And that took away from his ability. Instead of just being himself. Yeah. Another point was the coaching. Okay. Twice, when the Ravens were down by 14 at half, they lost. They only had two losses. And that shows that um, they couldn't make adjustments. At, at the half. At the half. Like, they, they they just kept doing what, like, wasn't working, and they were hoping they were going to strike lightning in a bottle. You know what I mean? Right. But, like, the whole time, like, you're hoping to do that. Like, you need to fucking 
stop their offense. You got to stop, you know, and like the thing is like Ryan Tannehill, you know, good for you, bro, because you got cut last year by the Dolphins. I don't know who that is. The Miami Dolphins were like the worst no, team. No, I'm talking about Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill who is, is now the starting quarterback for the Titans. of the Titans. Okay, all right. That's what I thought. So the Titans started off the season with uh, Marcus Mariota. And I can't remember if he got hurt or they just benched him because he was bad. And Ryan Tannehill was the starting quarterback of the worst team in football last year, the Miami Dolphins, and they let him go. And Tennessee picked him up to be their backup. Mariota goes out. What Tannehill, happened? He got injured. I can't remember if he got injured or if he just got benched. It doesn't even matter. So Tannehill's in there, and now he's about to play in the AFC Championship. I love it. I mean, I it's a good story. It. I mean, I don't like that the Ravens yeah. lost. Because no, but it's you're a good Ravens story, fan, and I absolutely love you. It's so. a well, thank you. I mean, of course, but it's a good story. And it uh, is a okay. good story. It's like so, Kurt Warner. Here's the problem, right? So Remember Tannehill, Kurt Warner? I do, oh, of course, uh, worked at a grocery store, stocking shelves. Yeah, <laughs> then won a Super Bowl. Cinderella story. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right. I mean, but go ahead. Sorry. Tannehill threw a couple fucking dimes, and then you had like when you have Derrick Henry, who's a goddamn freight train. All you got to do is throw a couple dimes. So like. Who's that? Uh, full the, run, the running back. back. Yeah, like he's as big as a truck. Throw a couple dimes and let him run through. If you get the first, throw. Pass. I mean, he threw a couple beautifully caught passes. Ryan Tannehill to and okay, so so we couldn't stop that. We couldn't stop Derrick Henry. We had rust from not showing up. Lamar wasn't playing like himself. Um, we couldn't make readjustments. You know what I mean? We couldn't refigure at the half. a new game plan, yeah. couldn't reset. And here's my thing that no one's talking about is our receivers couldn't catch any balls. There was so more more fucking dropped passes uh Saturday night than like I've seen all season. So all that coming together is the perfect storm of a 6 seed taking out a number 1 seed. You you rarely see uh, All right. How can I put this where it makes sense? You rarely see a quarterback who's new to the league do anything like in a playoff game for the most part. They usually choke. Yeah. From what I mean, I've yeah. seen, they usually choke under the pressure. I mean, Mahomes. Next time when they go to the playoffs, Lamar's going to know what it's like to be have absolutely. Been there, and it's going to be a different fucking story. Absolutely. I'm just saying that, that's well, I'm how counting, it goes. I'm counting the 200 some days down until the like, next season. It's crazy yeah. how in a Super Bowl, like. People like the best players in the world can choke yeah. in a yeah. Super Bowl, and that's a lot of reason why the, the Patriots. Well, they always had an easy road to the Super Bowl, in my opinion. Yeah. Like it, yeah. it was like they they always had an easy fucking road to get there. But they've been to the Super Bowl so many times that they knew what it was like to be there, and it was like another fucking most of game. the players. You know, most of the players the already coach, had that experience. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. So it's like, and then you got a leader on your team, Tom Brady, who's. Yeah. I mean. How many Brady. rings does he have? He's got six. Yeah, I mean Michael Jordan. Come on. Yeah. Goat, bro. Goat. Yeah. You can't not be the goat and have that many national championships. You know, Super yeah. Bowl rings. You know what I, I mean? I feel like it's harder. I feel like it's harder to do what Jordan did than what. You know what I mean? Why though? Well, they play more games. They yeah, play, they do. They, they play, play a lot like, more games. They play like four. Probably, and I don't. I'm I'm a so-so basketball fan, but like they play like at least four times a week. Yeah. They play like 80-some games in a season. Michael Jordan could be the greatest of all time in any sport ever, of any athlete I think so, ever. and I, I think that, you know, and I, a lot of people, and again, this is some coming from someone that doesn't have the numbers, but I know what LeBron's numbers look like, and I know at this point in his career, they're better than Jordan's all around, but like... You got to think How about... How many championships does he have? Right. You got to think the about the That's the bottom chips. line, dude. Right. And like, not... Not even so much the one championships, but you got to think about the losses. And like LeBron been there and lost. You know what I mean? Multiple times. Jordan went six times. Won six and times. And Jordan won six times. Dude, he's the GOAT. And there's no, so, to yeah. me, it's not even an argument because it's not. It's the same shit as going in that living room. I mean, this is a terrible fucking metaphor. Yeah. But it's the same shit as me going in my living room playing Call of Duty and right. me getting 30 kills and everybody else on my team, like, we lose every time. Right. It doesn't matter how many kills I got. Nobody's right. going to give a fuck. Right. You lost every time. Right. 
That just to me, like, I, so, so really, does I'm LeBron like, have two championships. He's got I two or three he had more than I think he's got like three or four. Does he? Okay, I don't well, know. That's more. I like, but like I don't I like care. LeBron. I like LeBron. I'm not a LeBron. I'm not a LeBron thumper. I like LeBron. He's. Uh, I think he's a. a I'm old decent enough. Human. I'm old enough that like I'm still in the era of like Michael Jordan. I mean, dude, it's never gonna be the same. Dude, to me, like I'm biased. Uh, I don't I'm, know. Bi- I'm biased because Michael Jordan was like my hero. Well, growing yeah, up. Come and living I'm always going to be biased. Living dude. here, sure. Well, I mean, but you got a lot of stars. Every kid in America's hero, bro. It doesn't matter yeah. where you're from, dude. Space every, Jam, dude. Space Jam, bro. And now LeBron's making Space Jam too. Fuck that. Yeah, agreed. I'll probably watch it. Uh, I mean, I'll, just saying. I might catch it. Yeah. I mean, is Bugs Bunny in it? I mean, I, I would assume so. Well, yeah. I'll take it. Well, yeah. Or is Layla in it? Because I'd. Fuck. Oh, the the girl bunny. I'd fuck. Uh, I don't think that's been confirmed. But Did you smash though, <laughs> dude. I used to have a huge crush. On I'm the rabbit, sure you bro. did. I would love to see a. She had a nice tail. A bro. Layla cosplay. Like yeah, a, with some big old titties. Like a hot, yeah, because I'm not into Pretty like sure actual. I've seen that. Yeah, and it was, and I jerked off to yeah. it. Yeah, jerked it. Probably, dude. Layla. <laughs> Come on. Did you Suck. smash those? Suck. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, I love yeah. doing podcasts with yes. you, dude. Yes. Absolutely love yeah. it. Because it's cool because we were into kind of the same shit. Yeah. We argue about a lot of shit. It's I love great, it. dude. I love it. I've been trying to get old Oshkosh Josh to come on with you, but he's acting like a little pussy. Yeah. What's up with that, man? I mean, come on, Josh, get your goddamn shit together. Probably best son. to leave that one off. The all podcast. right, well, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> get your goddamn <laughs> yeah. shit together, Josh. Get your life together. Yeah, dude. He dropped me off here. He oh, could have. He? Yeah, he could have easily been like, "I'm coming in." Yeah, I'm gonna talk. No, dude, I feel like me and you could do a podcast with anybody, anybody on planet Earth. Doesn't even matter, dude. I'm I glad asked you a, like my idea about So I, I, I asked uh, one of our mutual friends. I'm not going to name her name. but Drop she's, it. She's never Drop been. It. I asked Emily Stone. Oh, I like Emily Stone. I, I, I asked her to do a podcast. She I wouldn't asked do it. her. Uh, yeah, I, we were eating chicken nuggets. And I thought about it. I said, like, well, Super interesting. Yeah. She's very interesting. I said, you should come do this podcast with me and Alex real quick. And she said, literally, she's. What did she say? Let read it. It was funny. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Oh hey, if God. You tell us no. We put yeah. you on blast. Thank you for inviting me, but anything involving the spotlight is literally my worst nightmare. Like <laughs> no joke, I'd rather die than be on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> tell her we'll just do audio. Yeah. <laughs> be like no cameras. We'll just record oh, your voice. Oh God, it would be extremely interesting. So I said, look, she's so cool, dude. I said, okay, wow, big yikes, <laughs> big yikes. <laughs> Dude, that was a that was a hell of an explanation. Oh, look at your notes on there and see did we because we covered a lot on your notes. I just want to make sure yeah we got what we were talking because there was some oh the the eighteen twelve documentary or nineteen twelve nineteen seventeen the okay. movie yeah yeah tell me about that it was the most beautifully shot movie I've ever seen in my life. That's so cool that they did it one was continuous. so good. You ever so seen any good. behind the scenes from it? Yeah, very cool. Yeah, they're like trying to and keep up. Obviously, with the guys. it's not one shot like. It it's takes one months. shot. It's it takes, one continuous shot. Dude. I'm saying it takes. Well, okay. So a lot of people confuse one shot with one take. No, it's not one take. It's just Obviously. one shot. It's one continuous Blowing. tracking shot. Yeah. So good. I wonder where they filmed that at. So good. Somewhere Probably huge. like Ireland or some somewhere shit. huge. Yeah. They have these cameras on tracks. Bro, some of the like the sweeping shots. So it's World War Two, right? World War One. Oh, World War One. Yeah. Okay, so 1912. That was or 1917. That was World War One. Yeah. So 19, World War Two 19, was 19. So 19. Uh, so World War One was 1914 to 1918, and two was 1940 something, right? 41 to 45. I get one and two confused. So one was. Uh, Both had Germans in it. Yeah, that's why I get it confused. But Hitler was two. Yes. And the Germans were pissed because they lost World War One. Well, that was and, not... And that had a lot to do with why, why yeah. World War Two started and Hitler came... Well, no. So Hitler came into power in 38. Yeah. He became the Chancellor of Germany in 38. But so, the Germans were pissed because of what happened in World War I. I don't know they if... They had to give up a lot of Germany. They got a lot I, of their yeah. land taken. So from what I know about World War II, which I'd like to think is more than just a regular guy, but not like a expert. Yeah. 
The thing is, like, w- World War One took such a toll on Germany. Pearl Harbor. Is that what started World no. War One? So what started World War One? World War Two uh, was Pearl so Harbor. So World War One was it was the um, the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand from like Hungary. Franz Ferdinand. Well, yeah, yeah, like the band. Yeah. Take so me out. It was I that. Say, don't you know? Yes. You say you don't know. <laughs> yeah. I say. Dun, 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 dun. That's exactly it. Take me out. Yeah. You were waiting. okay, Franz Ferdinand, right, the right. Archbishop of the Archduke, Archduke Bishop of like Bulgaria or like Hungary or something like that. All right, and so that's tell what me set about the that. whole thing. So off. what happened there it was like spies and shit. That yeah. Was... Honestly, my knowledge of World War One is not that extensive, um, but I can tell you that. It was a huge fucking, I thought it was like a huge fucking, it was just like, shit was at a boiling point and that was like the catalyst, like the shot heard around the world was for um, the American Revolution. It was just yeah. like one thing that like sparked everything. And um, it was the assassination of Ferdinand. Right. Now, World War II, uh, I don't think the Germans were like pissed. They were pissed. They were, no, see the thing is like they were, at that point they had lost the war. They went into an economic downfall. Like a lot of their shit, like a lot they of were starving. Yeah, like, like a lot of the fucking buildings were bombed out. Like you know, like we don't, we we can't identify that because all the wars we fought in have been on foreign soil. Right, right. You know I mean, they're fighting the wars on here. Their, like it'd be like us fighting here. Yeah, exactly. So you got to think everything's in fucking ruins, and then ruins. Hitler comes along. And he's relatively young, and he's really charismatic, and da da da, and he makes a lot of good promises about bringing the country back together. And there's a lot of like nationalist unification going on. And it only took a couple years, you know, from he came into power in '38. By '41, you know what I mean? He's invading Poland and all Trying that. Trying to get German land back though that was taken in World War One. Well, it That's- wasn't. That is not. Germany shrunk in size after World War One because of some agreement or Treaty of Versailles. That's what the it was. Treaty of Versailles. W- w- no. Okay. Did we talk about that on a different podcast? No. I'm pretty I, sure we I'm did. I'm pretty sure the Treaty Look of Versailles. Look that up real quick, Jamie. Let's see what it says. Okay. I'm not your Jamie. But I say Versailles because I'm from North Carolina. Okay. Dude, please be my Jamie. Dude, be, be the Jamie to All my right. Rogan. Dude. Uh, please. I mean, dude, we're legally bound after that last podcast we did with Kim Gaskins. We're oh, legally hold bound. On, hold on. The treaty. Yeah. Okay. So we're hetero life the, parts, bro. Well, that's true. Just saying. So yeah. be the Jamie to my Rogan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. Okay. Oh, fine. Okay. Thanks. The treaty ended the state of war between Germany and the Allied powers. Uh, signed on the 28th, 1919, exactly five years after the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Like I said, Germans right. were pissed about that shit. But this doesn't it mean, say... It, dude, it had something to do with Germany giving their land up to, like, Poland. Germans hated fucking Poland. So Germany shrunk in size because of that treaty. That treaty fucked the Germans. Okay, required Germany to disarm, make ample territorial concessions... And pay reparations. Alex does know what he's talking about. Wow. Hey. First time for everything, baby. Hey, dude. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, take the trust yeah. fall, okay? Eh. I'll catch you. Eh. Every time. I believe So it. that treaty had a lot to do with World War II and why the Germans were so fucking pissed. And it had something yeah. to do with why Hitler actually came into power because the Germans wanted their fucking land back. Just think about this. Think about Mexico beats us. They take Texas... They take New Mexico from the United uh, States. We're pissed. Yeah. 10, 15, 20 years later, we're pissed. Yeah. We want it back. We want our territory back. We want our land That's back. That's what a lot of wars are about, yeah. territory, mostly oil. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying, that treaty had a lot to do with the reason World War II was... They got, that treaty fucked the Germans. They were mad about it. You understand where I'm coming from now? Of course. That we read that? So, they were mad about that, and then, like you were saying, Hitler... So Hitler had a guy. It wasn't Heisenberg. It was a it was a different guy. He was it's like a typical German evil sounding fucking name. And I'm not racist against Germans. They have evil sounding fucking. What do you do? I know a lot of their names. No, I can't remember. I can't remember his name. But what he did was he taught Hitler how to publicly speak, 
and to translate oh. his racist it's not really racist it's talking more, about like the uh administer of propaganda maybe but he was he's the guy who made himmler Hitler. Goebbels, heinrich himmler yeah was that him had yeah. to be him yeah had to be him all right heinrich himmler i'm pretty sure is the guy's name he basically made hitler right so he so hitler had all these anti-semitic ideas and didn't know how to publicly right like say them where people could get behind him and not feel like right. they were racist right you know what i'm saying like we need the jews out of our country but I need to figure out how to get people behind me type shit. But uh, yeah, so that guy made Hitler. I'm pretty sure it was Heinrich Himmler. I could be wrong. That might be that little skinny weasel looking motherfucker that Hitler had on his team that was making atom bombs. Himmler was shit. one of the most. He was a. Uh, I don't know. He was like a, a leader in the leading Nazi. member of the Nazi party. Okay, all right, not that guy. Just the guy who made Hitler's old fat dude. I think you're thinking of Goebbels because Goebbels... No, it's not Goebbels. Just put uh, who was Hitler's... Uh, what do you call the guy who like leads you? Like, mentor. Yeah, who was Hitler's mentor? Type that in, Jamie, and see what comes up. <laughs> Pull that up for me, Jamie. Yeah. Eckhart. Nah, maybe. What was his first name? Some really German-sounding shit. Dietrich. Might be Dietrich. I don't know. Eckhart became Hitler's mentor, exchanging ideas with him and helping to establish theories and beliefs of the party. In 1920, Hitler and Eckhart flew to Berlin to take part in the Cap Putsch. It was Eckhart who introduced Alfred Rosenberg to Adolf Hitler. And Rosenberg was like a prominent German, uh, like, yeah, uh, like a general, right? I don't know. Let's see who he is. The head of the Reich Ministry. He was a theorist and an influential ideologue of the Nazi party. A good speaker, Probably. basically. Yeah. But that was the thing about Hitler is when he first started, he had all these ideas, but he didn't know how to translate them and then somehow became the like one of the greatest speakers ever. Yeah. To I talk mean, all those people <clears throat> into doing real. what they did, dude. I yeah, mean, dude, one of the most real. influential... Like, we hear all these negative things about Hitler, which he was a piece of shit motherfucker. I mean, yeah, he's evil. But great at what he did. Yeah, I mean, no one did it better. No one did it better. Well, Mussolini. Yeah. Mussolini, I think, I'm pretty sure did Mussolini killed more people, gen more genocide. Dude, look up Mussolini. Is it Mussolini or Stalin? I think it's Mussolini, the Italian, right? Mussolini was a, the, the Italian, Italian okay? The, Ita the Italian, 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 Mussolini. All right, because I'm pretty sure 20 million people got killed in Nazi Germany, but like 80 million motherfuckers got killed in uh, by Mussolini of his own people. Like mm -hmm. genocide. Italian leader of the national fascist. Just look up how many people did that were killed under Mussolini. I think it's like eighty I'm fucking trying. million, bruh. Execution. I'm jacked the squad. fuck up, I dude. Know that's right. I'm jacked. Hey, if you people want a fucking, uh, if y'all want a latte or a damn, uh, what was that other thing I said? Cappuccino. If y'all want a cappuccino <laughs> or a latte, I'm your man. Okay. <laughs> Damn, this is not telling me how many people he killed. You got an iPhone? I sure do. Hey, Siri, how many people... He read did... my mind. God damn it. He, he read my mind, people. Oh, <laughs> did you? Hey, Siri, how many people did Mussolini kill? Do it in the mic. Do it in the mic. I found this on the web. We need you to tell us, That's bitch. That's not fun. Tell us, bitch. Okay, but tell me. Hey, learn English. Said so dumb. We're we're. Oh no! <laughs> don't don't talk about learn Bradley's yeah. dick on the podcast, please. Thank you. Oh, uh, how many people did Mussolini kill? Here's what I found. Hold on, let's let's try this. Hold on. Who killed more people, Mussolini or Hitler? Okay, let's see. Okay, hold on. Who killed more? Stalin, Hitler. Oh, the actually the Chinese guy Mao killed more people, but I don't know shit about that guy. I don't fucking. Either. He killed his own fucking people. Let's just fucking be, dude. Oh. It's just crazy what can happen, dude. Now I hope wants me to subscribe, dude. To I hope I'm nothing not ever happens. That. I hope nothing ever bad happens like this in the United States, dude. That would be terrible. It's always communist motherfuckers that do shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it always communist? That do shit like that, or like the fascists, fascist, communist, yeah. 
You know who? Did you ever watch Peaky Blinders? Yeah. You know who Conor McGregor reminds me of? Who? Arthur fucking Shelby. Yeah, he does. Dude, his pictures where he's like all bowed out like that. Yeah. His fucking suits. Reminds me of Arthur Shelby. I commented on McGregor's Instagram and I said, the real life <laughs> Arthur fucking Shelby. Hell dude. yeah. I feel like that should have got a million goddamn likes. And how and not, you fuck? How many did it get? I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> but it should have one M wow. right now. If you it were, should have an M. If you, dude, it should have at least one M. It probably only has an H. Probably only has eight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> eight like. But he does. He reminds me of Arthur Shelby. He does. How great yeah. is that show? It's I love it. Probably one of my absolute favorite I Netflix shows. Love it. Yeah. So they got it mapped out at least two more seasons. Thank God. Yeah. I th- I think they're gonna do them back to back. Perfect. So we're gonna get them quick. So who's the guy who plays Scarecrow and Batman, and he's also Killian Murphy? God damn, he's beautiful. God damn, I'd fuck that guy. That's a gorgeous. Man. I ain't gay, I, but I'm I not either. But dead. like, a real recognize real. Hey, I'd cover his nuts. Yeah. Hey, you want to know what? Speaking of uh, My speaking mind. of that, new Christopher Nolan movie coming out. Okay, remind me again what movies he made. <sighs> oh, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You. We talked like, about this before. I'm just trying. Probably, to maybe my favorite movie ever is what? Inception. Oh God. Yeah. We talked about this. You last. know. Yeah. I love yeah. that movie. I mean, I, it it's for sadique. real doesn't get better than hey, that. It's so deep. So good. It's so good. <laughs> so good. It's so yeah. good. Like it's got bro. Leo. So he Leo's in the new one. No. Like, no. Who's it? What's the new one about? Uh, it's like spies. And time travel, we think. Like, Ooh. they got a trailer, but, like, it is so confusing. Is it? Yeah. Like, all of his movies. Exactly. I love movies that you... I love when a movie or a show, you're trying to figure it out yeah. from the beginning. And I know you do, too, because I know yeah. how your brain works. Yeah. You got a beautiful mind, So sir. confusing. But, like, it looks that. great. I love that. Yeah. Do you see Uncut Gems? Yeah. What? What's the deal with Ugh. it? Oh, I've heard two completely different ends of the spectrum. So good. Is it? So How good. is Sandler? So good. I fucking love Adam Sandler. How and like, bro, they fucking snubbed him. What do you mean? On the, so they did the Oscar nominations this week. Oh, like, he didn't get nominated? No, dude. And they nominated fucking nine actors. Like, make it an even ten. Put him in there. Damn. Yeah. I mean, Joaquin's going to win that. Oh, dude, the Joker. For sure. Dude, I watched the Joaquin Phoenix movie last night. That was it. What was it? Crazy! It was a uh, you were never here. That's one of my favorites. You you told me to watch. I that. told you to watch On, it. I knew somebody told me. Yeah, I'm like, I saw it and I saw Joaquin and he's jacked. In yeah, that movie. he's fat. I mean, he's kind of jacked. He, yeah, but he he's a little got jacked. Like, he's like, chub. Yeah. He's chubbed out. But he's he ama- looks like kind of like me he, in that. Like, he's look, got my body type. Bro, I'm bro. telling you, he's scarier in that movie than he ever was Dude, in the he's Joker. Scary in that movie. Yeah. Dude, that movie's crazy. So good. All right. So what in the fuck happened? Oh, I don't know. Dude. <laughs> it got done. He blew his brains out at the end. Yeah. And he woke up. And I'm like, what happened? Yeah. And I, then I looked at the description of the movie, and then I looked up the director, which is a woman, yeah. and then I watched another movie by her. Yeah. What is she? What else uh, does she do? God damn it. Oh, we need to talk about, uh, what was the kid's James or something. She did a movie called We Need to Talk About James. Yeah. James. Yeah. And he's like a serial killer. He's a school shooter. Kevin. We need to talk about Kevin. Kevin. Ke- pass this to Kevin. Yeah. Kevin's not here. Yeah. So he's a school shooter. Yeah. I so didn't the, actually see it. The whole time you're trying to figure out what the fuck did he do? Well, yeah. he shot up a school. Spoiler oh, alert. Oh, I got to watch it now. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's pretty good. I mean, the lady actor in it is amazing. Yeah. I ruined the movie by telling it's you that. It's fine. It's good, though. Whatever. But, but, I knew it was, it was but fucked when up. But when you watch it, you're, you're going to know like that lady directed it because it's so similar to You Were Never Here. Yeah. But I, damn it, I was hoping you would tell me what happened and you were never here. I mean, I don't. I think that's like. Let's talk about that movie. The let's, beauty. Let's do the breakdown of you yeah. were never here. No, you're good. You can p- get comfortable. Get. Let me not get up in your <laughs> bubble. Dude. Um. So, all right. So f- the first thing at the beginning when he's drinking out of the water fountain. Yeah. And the girl's in the fucking railroad track and she's all like, but he, but the water's going and he's invisible. Did you notice that? The fuck? He's drinking out of the water fountain, and you were never here. Joaquin Phoenix is drinking out of the water fountain. Yeah. And the water's going, and he's drinking out of it, and then it cuts to another side, and it shows the water going, but he's invisible. Did you notice that? No. All right, so that's at the very beginning of the movie, and it's like one of the only 
scenes that shows him actually invisible to the people around him. Have you did you notice how a lot of the people didn't interact with him yeah. at the beginning? Like they were not interacting with him. Did you notice how he kept suffocating himself in the bags? Yeah. At the beginning, he's like suffocating himself in a bag. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. I think that he. I don't know, dude, because I was trying to make sense of it, and it just could never really make sense. No shit. I think he died at the beginning, and he was like nah. in the afterlife, really saving people as like a, a evil entity, really? but actually a good. I don't know, bro. I'm well, probably how did wrong, he have, dude. So, like, I know that he interacted with he obviously did interact the girl. With people. Yeah, obviously he, the girl. I think she might have been dead too. Bruce Willis, six cents. Come on. Wow. I know. I don't know. And I, like the guy who gave him jobs. Yeah, that, that died. Was, yeah, it, yeah. He's eating the um the jelly beans. I think that the, I think okay. I think it could have been cutting back to when he was alive. No shit. When he gave him the jobs, and then. Joaquin came back in the afterlife and murked him. So here's the thing, remember right? Remember the kid? He said, the kid looked at me. Do you remember when he went in there to get the money from that guy that gave him jobs? Yeah. And he said, the kid fucking looked at me. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, I think so. So I was trying to make sense of like, huh. why did he not want anybody to see his face? Like he didn't want people to look at him. I've already tried looking it up. Could, still couldn't make sense of it, I, dude. You know what? Like there's a book. That's based on a book. Yeah, I saw that at the end of the movie. I was like, I got to fucking read it now. I feel like I got to read it. I got to read it. I feel like I have to. I think that he died in the beginning, and it was cutting back wow. to like different scenes of when he was alive, and but he was actually like, because he blew his fucking brains out at the end. But then he didn't. But then he didn't. Then he woke up. Yeah. It was like, you were never here. Because the title of the movie automatically makes you think that he's actually not there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a mind oh, fuck. shit. Nah, I'm, I'm probably wrong. I feel like I'm kind of on the right track, but I just haven't figured out how to tie it all together. And maybe the bitch made the movie to not make sense and people to do exactly what we're doing and talk about All right, about later, it. while seated at a diner, Joe has a violent suicidal fantasy and passes out. In his dream, nobody notices he is dead and blood from his wound is pooling. Nina wakes him saying, it's a beautiful day. He agrees and they leave together. Yeah. Crazy. <sighs> but what about him drinking out of the water fountain and he's invisible? Can you Google anything about that, young Jamie? Because I, I, I don't understand. I can't believe you didn't catch that scene. I didn't. You have to be pressing the button for the goddamn water to go. Okay? Yeah. Gotta be. But you know what can press buttons? Ghosts. No, they Ghosts. can't. Ghosts can press buttons. Evil spirits can press buttons, Bradley. Hold on. I'm trying to see like a hot take about this. What does that mean? It means like Like a, what we're doing. Yeah. A hot motherfucking take. Hey. Hey. Hey, people. That's what we're doing. We're doing a hot take. Okay. Oh, uh, man. Why the, was he invisible? Go watch this movie. It's on Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime. And it's called You Were Never Here, and it stars called, one of you, the greatest actors of all you time. You Were Joaquin Never Phoenix, Really Here. A.K.A. The Motherfucking Joker, A.K.A. Johnny Motherfucking Cash. G one of the greatest movies I ever saw. You want to know what's good? Johnny Cash. You want to know what's good? Is it got him in it? Is it he does. in it? Yeah. Is he in it? The Sisters Brothers. What the fuck is that? That's a, a fucking movie with him and John C. Riley, and it's a Western. John C. Riley is in the other movie that she yeah. made, You Were Never Here. I wonder if she made that one. This, no, she didn't make this. It's got the brothers. same two guys in it, dude. I mean, that John happens. C. Riley, it, yeah, but not really, though. The uh, Sisters Brothers. Look, and that's see who on, directed um, it. See if it's a woman. If it's a woman, it's her. I mean, it's, it was not Lynn Ramsey. Oh, Lynn Ramsey directed You Were Never Here. Yeah. Oh, and Gyllenhaal is in it, and Riz Ahmed is in it. I love Jake Gyllenhaal. I do, too. His sister sucks. Yeah. She's good in the... She's terrible. She's good in the deuce. Oh, no, terrible this is by uh, Jacques Audiard. Which is an alias for Lynn motherfucking... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was on... Oh, it's on Hulu for free. Hey, I'll, I mean, be, honest, for I'll be honest with you. I want to punch John C. Riley right in the fucking mouth. No, but Just I love saying, him. I love. Him. I don't love him. I love him in Talladega Nights. Greatest, yeah, greatest thing dark, he ever did. It's a dark comedy. Greatest thing he ever did. Oh, the one you're talking about is a dark comedy. Yeah. What's it about? It's a western. You said it's kind of complicated. I don't really make me want to watch it. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Joaquin Phoenix. 
Okay, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, Count I mean, me in. John C. Riley. <clears throat> the Sisters Brothers. It was good. The Sisters Brothers. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. They're like looking for, like, I think they're like bounty hunters, and they get into some adventures. Oh, Mandalorian. Let's talk about that. Finished it. So good. So fucking good. Yeah. God, right? it's good. Right? Hey, you know, I liked it because it was like not your typical Star Wars. No, I know. It was a little dark. Yeah. So they say that like the so the masterminds behind the Mandalorian was obviously John Favreau. Don't know who that is. Bro, John Favreau directed the first Iron Man movie. John Favreau is Happy Hogan and he's Tony Stark's like butler valet. Uh-huh. And he's in the Spider-Man movies. Okay, okay. He directed the first Iron Man. It became a fucking he must franchise. Must be homeboys with Stan Lee probably. Was probably Stanley's homeboy? Well, Stanley's di- dead. Yeah, but, but probably. Yeah. still there. Probably, if you died, I'd still be your homeboy. So there's Just another saying. guy. There's another guy named Dave Filoni, and he's like the creator of a couple of the Star Wars like animated shows. Yeah, and they say that like they're pretty sure that like they're just gonna like let those two guys like based on the success. Of the animated shows and the Mandalorian, they're just gonna be like, "You guys, go ahead, and do whatever you want." Fuck, like yeah. obviously you're doing some good shit. Yeah, yeah. So George Lucas really has the final say. George Lucas hasn't had any say in years. So why is it still Lucas Films? I guess Mandalorian's well, not Lucas Films. Lucas, so it's Disney under the Lucas Films um, banner, I guess. So Disney owns Lucas Films. Right, okay, Lucasfilms okay. was a company, an entity. Obviously. I just thought George Lucas owned that. No, not anymore. Not for a long time. Huh. So there's a woman named Kathleen Kennedy, and she's the one with like the creative control over uh, Star Wars, and that's why a lot of, you know, a lot of people like like, I mean, going back to what I just said, George Lucas hasn't had any um, control over what happens in a long time. Like he made the the prequels, you know, one, two, and three, Revenge of the Sith. Eh, all right, right, They're okay, all right. But like in the interim between Revenge of the Sith and um, the Force Awakens, they did the the buyout where George Lucas, you know, got bought out and they sold Lucasfilm to Disney, and Kathleen Kennedy took over as you know. The head of Lucasfilm. Oh, okay. So she works closely with Disney executives. um, And they're the ones that have the control. They're the ones that created the storylines and shit. And and I've heard that, um, that like, Lucas had ideas for the prequels, and they used virtually none of his ideas. You mean episode one, two, three? The The sequels. I'm sorry. The sequels. the sequels, okay. The newest ones, yeah. Huh. He had ideas, and, and I think the newest ones were badass. Uh, eh. but Mandalorian just fucked them yeah. all. And like, I, them because all. I like look like the. I How about think, Gus from Breaking Bad and that shit in Mandalorian? Oh yeah, huh? Yeah. Okay, he's coming back, riding the fucking X-wing fighter. Yeah. So Mandalorian took place after episode after episode six. It, yeah, so it took place five the third years. third of the original three, Return of the Jedi. Five years after Return of the Jedi. Which was awesome because, like, yeah. okay, technically the fucking Jedis ruled the galaxy at that point. Technically. Well, no. Like, there weren't, there weren't any Jedis at that point. Yeah, there so, were, dude. No, what you got to remember, what, what, <sighs> what you got to, what you have to Oh, the rem- Jedis all went into hiding. If Yeah, the very few that were alive. Yeah. You got to remember, there weren't any Jedi. Well, I'm saying the Alliance ruled the galaxy. The Alliance. Well, the Alliance didn't rule the galaxy, but they had stopped the Empire. Yeah, right. But the Empire was... It, that's what I liked about Mandalorian, is the Empire was having like underground meetings and like yeah. trying to and be real tell, secretive. Yeah, like it's just <sighs> because they like were defeated. They you know, still existed. They were fractured and scattered. Yeah. But they still existed, sure. So cool, dude. Yeah. Just the concept of Star Wars is the fucking most awesome yeah. shit ever. Have you watched Rogue One? Yeah. I know I, I can't tell really you, remember it though. Ugh, Rogue One Not was that great. so good. I'm saying I can't remember it that great. You gotta watch it. I've watched it. Is that the one uh, where Leia's old? No, okay. it's the one with no Jedi in it. There's no. It's all about the stealing of the plans yeah, to I've the Death it. Star. I've watched it. Ugh, it so starts good. out with. 
Oh, I'm trying to remember because I just saw the new one. Yeah. I saw the new one. It's so good. It's pretty fucking good. I thought good. it was. Yeah. That okay, got mixed the reviews. The fucking guy that's in the report. Yeah. What's his name? Adam Driver. God damn, that dude's awesome. So good. Dude, he's such a good bad guy and good yeah. guy. Yeah. Dude, he's awesome. It was better than I thought it would be. I like how he turned kind of good at the end. Yeah. Like, I got... I Leading up to it, I read... I, I didn't read any reviews, but I read that it was the worst reviewed Star Wars movie. And I'm like, I just don't see how it could be that bad. I went and I was like, I don't know yeah, what these motherfuckers are talking about. I thought this shit was cool. Yeah, it was it was cool and there's it, a but, couple weird plot points. Yeah, like I kinda don't like how always the good guys win. I kinda don't yeah. like that. I wish that it was more like up in the air or like have you some more evil shit, like a little darker. Yeah. Know? Like Mandalorian's a little darker. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. I like Joker. It's dark. Yeah. I like the dark movies. So now what they're gonna do is uh, and I don't think any of this is like confirmed, but I'm pretty sure they're going to make a trilogy all about the uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which is going to be like the the times of like Jedi prosperity, like a thousand years before. Oh, it would almost be like medieval, like even though it wouldn't be like medieval. But I'm saying like if, um, like it would be like old old Sith. Uh, I don't know. Knights of the Old Republic was like a video game back in the day. And it's just, it's a previous era in that Star Wars yeah. universe. Yeah. So like, and they, and in the time that, that that era has been created, there've been a bunch of books and like there are established characters. So like they have a lot of shit to work with. Yeah. Um, I don't really, I'm not familiar with it. Uh, but from what I understand, it's very popular. So like, I think that'll be cool. Yeah. Um, they're talking about giving Ryan Johnson, the guy who made the last one, which was, I think, the weakest one, um, his own trilogy. There's so many of them. Yeah. Let's make them dark. Did you see Knives Out? No. Nah. Go see Knives Out. Did you see Righteous Gemstones? God damn. <laughs> right. I thought you were going to say Uncut Gems again. No, Righteous yeah, Gemstones. Yeah, you, you already know I saw Righteous Gemstones. Okay, so Knives Out has the girl from Righteous Gemstones in it, correct? It does. And she's so funny. Yeah. She's so fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. She's hilarious. Is she funny in that? Is uh, she like, yeah, kind of. Eh, kind of. Yeah. She's so funny in Righteous Gemstones. Yeah. I feel like uh, Danny McBride just let her yeah. loose yeah. in Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, man. Uh, that was probably one of the funniest shows I've seen since, like, Talladega Nights. Like, the, yeah. one of the funniest things I've fucking well, seen. Did you watch Vice Principals? So funny. I mean, really? I mean, Danny McBride's hilarious. Danny McBride and Walt, okay, Walt check Goggins. Out. Oh, he's so good. Like, he's, them two together. Dude, Justified, Walt and Goggins and Justified. Justified. God is so damn. Good. I, I, so it Timothy was like, Olympant. 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 Oliphant. Oliphant. Come on. That's not how you say it. Yes, it is. It ain't. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look, anyway. we're going to go with my pronunciation. So not yours. Okay? So badass. So jealous you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, I love... So I've been a, I've been a big fan of his since... Goggins? Like, back in the day. No, Oliphant. I love Goggins, bro. Well, I love Goggins, too. Goggins is so awesome and justifies He's like a redneck hillbilly pill pusher fucking but like, preacher. But uh, like, um, like a savant, like a mastermind. Oh, yeah. You know? Smart. What about... What about... I know we're just running through shit and I don't fuck give it. a fuck. This well, is I our podcast. Care. We yeah. don't fucking... Yeah. What about uh, uh, Ozark? Coming back, fantastic! That kind of reminds me of Justify with the hillbilly pill pusher, Bro, heroin that growers. That reminds me. Did you watch The Outsider on HBO? The Outsider. It just premiered this Sunday. No, definitely not. It's a two-part premiere. So good. What's it about? Oh, it's based on a Stephen King book. It's got Jason Bateman in it. I love Jason Bateman. So good. And it's like horrible bosses. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. So look, it's about this kid gets murdered, and there's all kinds of evidence that says Jason Bateman killed this kid. 
T- text me that. Text me the name of that real quick, just you, so I don't forget. You really have put like, me. You have put me I on some fantastic here. shows. Listen, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you gotta listen. Hey, listen to that man when he tells you to watch something. For watch real, it. it's good. You got good taste. I do. You do. I mean, so look. So all the evidence points to Jason Bateman killing this kid, and then Jason Bateman gets arrested. Like, what are you talking about? And then his lawyer, like in this investigation, and this is all happening. Just don't over, ruin it for me. I'm no, gonna watch it. No, because like it's just, it's just the first two episodes. You know what I mean? But anyway, they find all this evidence that says that he didn't do it, and it's like, how the fuck? Like, and it's there's gonna be a lot of like fucking extra paranormal shit going on. Like, can one person be in two places at once? Oh. And I don't know if there's going to be doppelganger shit going on, if it's two people. I feel like me and you probably have a good number of doppelgangers. I, I mean... Just saying. I think they say... I, I just heard this. I think they say if you see your doppelganger in real life... Slap him. Bad luck for you. Is it? I think I heard that. Damn. Yeah, I got a buddy who was at the strip club, and the the girl that was sitting with him looked over... And thought that he had moved, like, that guy's doppelganger. And they said, apparently, that's like, no, bro. Oh, shit. It's like a black cat. Yeah. Hey, hey, newsflash, everybody listening and watching. I mean, I don't know. Me and Bradley, we're good at everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's a thing that I'm not good at. Yeah. Math, okay. maybe. Hey, make a list. No, you're good at math because you did 40,000 this week. 40,000 okay? in 15 days. You did 40,000 in 15 days. You got to count to know that. At least you have to at least be able to count to forty thousand if you're gonna do it. So true. Okay, yeah. but yeah, let's. Uh, anybody so who's true. listening still, first of all, you're probably Thank way you. better of a person. <laughs> Thank you. Second of all, yeah, we need a list of what me and Bradley are bad at. Yeah, you don't need a pencil. We need to start a like a, um. We need to st- a way of them like leaving messages for us. We can go live. We, we can we can not go, go live you know in we a should long time. go live with the laptop right here and interact yes. with people oh you want to do that tomorrow let's do it on <laughs> <laughs> hey oh hey. man i don't want to touch your penis or anything don't take like, this the wrong way but i could i could hang out with you <laughs> all the all time, the time. <laughs> yeah i would get on your nerves i'm just let's saying ju- let's just be honest negative i'd get on your negatron negative. skeletor no, homo life parts. Dude. <laughs> Hetero. <laughs> this motherfucker said homo, homo life, life parts. <laughs> we went from hetero to homo in two point really three quick, seconds. Really quick. Let's hey, do that. Look, I'm not homo, but like if there were one, it'd be you. Let's <laughs> Hey, all right. So I listen to this podcast called uh Dr. Duck Podcast. You would never be interested in it. <sighs> it's not. all about duck hunting. But Ugh. anyway, anyway. They go live and and they ask people questions and people ask them questions and yes. that's where the podcast goes wherever the people want it to go. For sure, we should do that. Yeah, and if, we'll we'll like advertise it like a week in advance or like three days in advance. That's a good idea. That's a people, great idea. Yes, let's do that. One hundred, dude. <laughs> I was God. thinking it. One hundred. Why not let the people get involved in one hundred? Dude, what number is this? self-made, bitch. What number is we this? We self-made, bruh. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like 97 or we 98. from the streets dude. to the furniture I business. An, I got another podcast Friday, so we're getting mighty close. Oh, my God, bro. You said you went from the streets to the furniture business. Yeah. That is gangster as fuck. Like that? That's straight up G, dude. Right. You see this bow tie? Let's do. Let's do that for episode one hundred. <laughs> let's interact with people yeah. and let them dictate where the podcast it's goes. Perfect. I can actually hook my laptop up to that TV. Yeah, but how are we gonna type, bro? We just oh, put oh, it on yeah, table right yeah, there, yeah. And, and then you could be live. You could wow. be live on your phone. Yeah. Since you like to look at it every five goddamn seconds. I'm anyway. a dad, bro. I, I'm stuck. Hey, I know. Hey. You're addicted. <laughs> I know. Admit your powerlessness, son. I am. So we could be like we. I'm probably not. I don't like being on my phone. But if you you could be on your phone yeah. and like I could see comments up there. Yeah. And you could interact with people on your phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it would be kind of cool to just do a fucking yes. Just we, that was the old days, bro. We used to be live on the. 
the phone. I thought about going live tonight, but I, it's just so much. Yeah. But I can do it. Don't we don't do think we can't because we're we good can. at everything. Really? Like we just said. I mean, really. That's a great idea. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's go live. Let's watch ourselves on the TV oh my God. while we podcast. It sounds so good. I, I'm, I can hook that MacBook up somehow to that TV. For sure. Probably HDMI cord. For sure. Got to. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got this room for about four more months and oh, Maddox is coming in here. Oh, shit. Other baby's going in there. So yeah. I'm either going to have to buy a new house, one, uh, which I fucking will. I'll, hey, hey, don't think I won't because I got bad. How can I get this house? I got, I'll sell it to you. Really? Yeah, dude. You I'll rent it to me first? Maybe. Rent it to me. I mean, I don't own it. Yeah, but, but I, I own it. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you pay me my fucking mortgage, I could rent it to you. Yeah. We'll I talk mean, numbers after. Yeah. It's nothing. I get. I shoot you a deal. It's just a check. I love you. Yeah. I feel like I could. I feel like I should pay you to live here because I love you so fucking much. I would do that. Yeah, I'd take that deal. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a fair deal for sure. I pay you to live at my house that I don't live in anymore. Damn. Fair deal. I mean, I see no downside. Hey, look, let me sell it to you yeah. real quick because I'm a salesman too. Okay? Yeah. Oh yeah. New air conditioner. Hey. Yeah. That's a must. Yeah. You're in North Carolina. That's a must. Gotta have it. Okay. Put put couple few grand into that. Fully renovated bathroom. Gotta have it. Bowl sink. That's Keep it nice clean bathroom. for the ladies. Yeah. Hey, my mother should have seen it before. Oh, guaranteed. Huh. Looked like that 70s show. Yeah. Took a shit in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got uh okay, so we got that. Oh, renovated the other half bath. You'd be in the master bedroom, so you'd have your own half bath. There's another half bath. There's no shower. Really? Yeah, no eh, shower. It's, it's a half bath. Whatever. That's what it's called. I know. That's what, that's what the name of it is. I know. Um, What else have I done here? I'd fix a bunch of shit. Like the yeah. fence back there, I'd fix that. That's not a bad idea to rent it out. Yeah. Maybe I will. Yeah. Maybe I'll sell it. To me. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, dude. Yeah. That's, I mean, dude, people, people get... I would like to buy properties and flip them. Like, that's really yeah. one of my goals. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah. Just got to keep good credit. Pay your shit on time. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Yeah, just apply for my first credit card. Did you? Yeah. Surprise. Well, I got it through my Chime account. Hey, don't downplay your fucking no, self. No, no. Trying to stay humble. Hey, dude. 2020 is the year of my economic growth. I love it, dude. I love that. 2020. Yo, you could probably rent out these other two rooms to two other motherfuckers for $500 a month and pay me a stack. I'd probably... Free. Yeah. You're living for free. Is just it, saying, is dude. It just a thousand? It's like a th- it's a little bit over a thousand. About a thousand. I got that. Buy your own house, dude. I got It's that. less than rent. <laughs> Yo, I love <laughs> your ideas. <laughs> I got that. Yeah. Dude, I love yeah. your ideas, dude. It's all good. Yeah, money trees. <laughs> it's all, I own them. I mean, look, I'm, we're printing money over at the furniture shop. Yeah, dude. It's all good. Hundreds. It's all good. N- ain't ain't no fifties. No, blue faces Sh- only. Straight blue faces. <laughs> yeah. God damn with it, the, I love you. With son. the rainbow strip down the middle. Yeah, yeah, dude, I love that rainbow strip. Me too. I love that invisible Ben Frank in the corner. Right. He's looking at you. He's like, you got to hunt it. It's called a watermark. <laughs> Dude, I like that invisible <laughs> yeah. watermark, dude. Yeah. Hunnets. Hunnets. My man ain't got nothing in his pocket but uh-uh. Hunnets. Straight Benny Hunnets. Y'all got them Hunnets. <laughs> Y'all got any Hunnets. Y'all got any of them Hunnets. Y'all got any cats. Don't fuck with cats. All right, you watch Don't Fuck With Yo, Cats. Yo, I'm going to watch this as soon as I get home. I'm going to watch yeah. uh, the one you texted me. The, oh, you got HBO, right? Yeah, I got it all. Ugh, it's fucking so- shout out to whoever Bro, gave me that. Ben Mendelssohn is like the detective, and he was in. He was the bad guy in Rogue One. Which bad guy? He was like the Imperial Death Wizard. Right. Sounds cool. And he was in um fucking uh Bloodline. You seen Bloodline? Oh, I love Bloodline. He was the fuck oh, up bro. Oh yeah, that he's guy. awesome, dude. Yeah, he's the detective. Bloodline was good. Bloodline it was, was like really figuring good. out what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Bloodline was really good. I fucking love that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll check what episode this is and we need to batten down the motherfucking hatches for we episode have to, 100, bro. dude. We're shooting off shit in here, dude. I might yeah. shoot my gun through the ceiling. That, okay. I'll patch it up for you. Uh, move I was in. just going to say. Just uh, saying, yeah, dude. right. I'll patch it up, dude. All right, it's all just right, bird cool. shot, dude. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Eh. What am I going to use this room for anyway? 
Yeah, dude. Hey, five hundred dollars a hey. month. You got a hole in the roof. Sorry. This Sorry will, about it. This will be my podcast studio. Dude, look at this. Yeah. Dude. I would leave this up too. I, I can't I can't not leave it up. I would leave it up. Can't not. Dude, I might cut the drywall out. Okay. Cut the whole wall out. Yeah. Take it with me. What's what's in Wherever this next I room? Go. Is that my That's room? Maddox's oh, room. okay. <laughs> your <laughs> Your room's back there. Yeah. The yeah. big one. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take that. Hell I'll yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I love you. I dude. love you. I love doing podcasts with you. You just made my fucking day. I'm telling you. I was looking forward to this all day. It was my Monday, bro, and I was like, I need this. Yeah, dude. I just, you know, Today's I sucked. always liked you ever since I met you. Yeah. I always liked you, yeah. but I feel like the podcast really just made me love you. Ugh. I mean, it really brought me in there for the real thing, dude. Hard agree. Speaking of hard, yeah, you make me. Yeah, you make me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just, dude, it just—it's cool to just sit there and talk to somebody. Absolutely. I just don't. And think, you not have to like. We don't ever have to like think of shit to say, dude. There's no dead air. No, there's not. It's amazing, dude. It's so we got amazing. chemistry, baby. We like cat and mouse. So much chemistry, dude. <laughs> I'd kiss you on the lips if it wasn't gay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not I know, gay. I know. But, but you'd kiss, be the one. But I'd kiss you. I'd kiss you. I mean, you're you're my. Who are we talking about? Was gorgeous earlier. And Killian Murphy. You're my Killian Murphy. Dude. You're mine. You're my Jamie to my Rogan. Yeah, I don't like that dynamic. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I hey, don't I'll like be the this. Jamie to your Rogan. All right, hey, cool. Yeah. I'll take one of the yeah. butt for you, dude. Okay, good. Metaphorically good. and literally. Because I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, dude. Pitcher. Catcher. I like that dynamic. Yeah, dude. I mean, we'd so have good. to switch it up every once in a while, dude. You can't uh, be doing all the fucking. Uh, I mean, I fuck back. We'd negotiate. I fuck back. I'm a hard <laughs> negotiator. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you guys for listening. Yes. We really got out there in left field at the God, end. God, it really and it was went amazing and quick. beautiful. It really was. It really was. In the most heterosexual way possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. So, you motherfuckers, get ready. Get ready. Get ready for episode 100 because it's coming and you got to interact with us. Because if you don't, I'm going to pull my sack out on the podcast and drag it across the fucking camera. How you like me now? So good. I'm going to set some fireworks off in here, dude. Bottle rocket. I'm excited for it. Bottle rocket. Honestly. Dude, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, definite fire hazard. Definite. For sure. Might uh, burn the house down, so let's not I, I make any plans say, on you moving in until uh, after yeah. episode 100. It worries me a little. Uh, yeah. But not too bad. Well, I think maybe a little more thought needs to go into it. Somebody we'll could get hurt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somebody might get hurt. Really, actually, honestly, seriously thinking about the house burning. Who did we say? Me, you, and Tim? Yeah, but where's Tim? He, he'll be here. <laughs> Fucking He's better. supposed to come Friday, so we'll see if he should. Me uh, and Greg and Tim Friday are doing a oh, podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. But I mean, That's I just. line up. I just think, if, and I might buy another mic and get Jordan Jennings here, too, for our yeah, episode 100. Jordan Jennings? He's up his girlfriend's hours. <sighs> but. I think he'll he'll come out for the for the one hundred, yeah. and there's something wrong with that guy. Something seriously fucking wrong with that yeah. guy, dude. I love it. I mean, yeah, I love it. You guys get ready. Yeah, yeah. Episode yeah, yeah. one hundred coming. All right, Bradley, I love you. Oh, I love you, Wesley Womack. We love you. This podcast is brought to you by Womack Electrical Contractors. Right. If you need anything done, they can do it. Call nine one zero two three one seven six seven nine. Hunt for Greatness Podcast. Big trust. Bitch.